Okay, so first things first. I have new skills. Lost in thought. Increase the time limit for each phase. Effective during the class trial. Yup, I'll take that. I got another one somewhere in here. Crystal prediction. Anyway, multiple suspects. Murder in a locked room. If anyone was likely to survive, it was Sakura, and yet... Oh, that's literally all we've got on that one. Each decreases an argument to three statements or less. Effective during the non-stop debate and the bullet time battle final strike. Yep, I'll take both those. Thank you. Yoo -hoo. And even if I have other ones, I can't use them. Okay, let's do this. Boom. All right, let's do this. Let's begin with a basic We know how the chore works. know who did it. Okay, thank you. Do we really need to do that for a fourth time in a row? No, I don't think so. Whoa, deja vu. The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. It's not that I don't disagree, but you need to narrow it down. <laughs> Idiot. Uh. <laughs> Go choke on your own bib. Yeah, I'd never kill someone. No way. I honestly believe Yashihiro. I don't think... I don't know, man. He just... I, I just don't think so, man. I don't hear your stupid excuses. Venus seems really sure that one of those three is the killer. Well, it stands to reason. Makoto didn't do it. Kyoko didn't do it. I hope to, I hope to the five, like, gods and whateverville that Hina had nothing to do with it. So, I mean, yeah... Accusing one of the three other people that it could only possibly be is a pretty safe bet. But she must have some reason for believing that. Alright, here we go. Is it a bad time to mention that I don't remember the controls again? Wait, hang on. Hold up, okay. Uh, t -t -t controls. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry about this. Silencer, fast forward the argument, open handbook, fire the truth bolt, that's the Y button. Concentrate to slow everything down. Select the truth bullet. Okay. Sorry. One of you killed Sakura. Most definitely. And what reason do you have for saying so? The fact because that you're the you only three people who could have done it? That's you my guess. It's true. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, makes That's a lot of the sense. Only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. No, it, it makes perfect sense. You're... She suspects one of you three because you're one of the... You three are the only ones who could have done it. Some concrete reason why Hina suspects those three specifically. I'm sure she mentioned it before. Yeah, I got it. one of you. One of you killed... And what reason do you have for saying... Because you all had a motive. You hated her. True that. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have And okay, whoa, that actually hit. I feel like I missed that one by a country mile. All right, whatever. It all works out. Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? I mean, we don't even need to bring that up. Again, they're the only three that could have done it. Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. Can't disagree with Hina. There's a good reason to suspect all three of them. And does that mean one of them did it? No, I mean, it was a magical ghost man. Clearly, ghosts everywhere. All right, that accomplished very little, but I got pocket trash. The fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them, there's no way that's not suspicious. True enough. One of you is absolutely guilty. I agree. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Uh-huh. Yeah, same here. I never Lies saw and you. slender! No, I disagree. I believe you did. Hero, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? Kind of funny how a small piece of pocket trash can ultimately result in something like this, huh? It was white with red polka dots. I mean, my goodness, you really should have thought about getting rid of this thing a whole lot earlier. What's that got to do with anything? A lot, actually. Red polka dots? The polka dotiest. That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. That is the prevailing theory, yes. No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. A little weird of you, but, you know, whatever. We've established you have a sweet tooth. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. 
In that case, Hero, where did you get that piece of candy? From a ghost. From Sakura. It's the only explanation. The ghost of someone. Uh, um. He's a spirit medium. Ghosts. It makes sense. He he commanded ghosts to kill people because he's too much of a weenie to do it himself. It all comes together. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, I got it from her, but, but she gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. Another big stinking lie. You're really bad at them, by the way. When? When did she give it to you? Can you get yourself an alibi up in here? The last time you saw Sakura was... When Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? And Makoto was there. I think he would know. Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. Lies! But what Hiro said can't be right. Because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office. And the reason I know that is... Uh, Hiro got the candy... When Sakura got the candy... Love can Wait, what? Hang on. What? And the reason I know that is... Yeah, because I know when she... I, yeah, I know... Ugh, I'm sorry, my brain had a wicked fart there. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So yep. if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. It all fits together like an ill-fitting glove. Damn yeah! Uh, I mean, what I meant was... Uh... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Kind of. I have a snug impossibility. <laughs> uh, what do you know? You said something funny. Go fake. Well, we just talked. That's all. I didn't do anything. You gotta believe me. Then why did you lie in the first place, good sir? You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious. Expert league made comeback. We're, wor we're working with a true fourth grader up in here. It's not just normal hostility. You're the real culprit. I even have proof. That you never decided to bring up until right this moment? Proof? What are you talking about? You gonna bring up the magazine? I'm talking about her shining message. What would a shining message even be? At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? Um, uh, okay, fair enough. Question, how did you know that? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. Problem! How do you know about that? That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Choco did it. Deflection blame. Oh, blame deflection. Said that no the wrong way. way. I didn't do it. Well, maybe your other side did it. You're both crazy you pants. Just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Yes, please. Thank you. Huh? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Uh, you know, except for the whole you got kicked out and weren't allowed to look around or do anything, you know. <clears throat> but if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. You have no way of knowing that that was a thing that we found. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Eh, hold on. But when Kyoko found the magazine with the dying message in it, it was on the magazine shelf. God! So, Kyoko, yeah. you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? Yeah. That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. In other words, for whatever reason, we don't really know yet, it was hidden from view. So, um, how did you know about it? I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense. Does it? Not that the greater majority of things he says ever have made sense, but yeah. Doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense. You know, except for the everything. There's definitely something strange about it. Kyoko found the dying message during the investigation, in which case, that clearly contradicts what Hiro told us. Make your argumento! Alright, let's go. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. Go for it. When Ogre's body was discovered. Lies and slander. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. So, yeah. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. Mm-hmm. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. No, it doesn't, you big-haired buffoon. He said he saw the dying message when he first found the body, but at the time, where was the magazine? 
Yeah, okay, I just wanted to hear the whole conversation, okay. Curses! Alright, hang on, sorry. Just gotta, gotta zoom, zoom, zoom. It's a good thing I've got a solid 13 minutes of absolute failure in order to, like, compensate my incompetence. Otherwise, we'd be in a serious problem. Uh, okay. I don't like using the concentration thingy, but fine. If that's what I gotta do, then that's what I gotta do. Because I'm just so incompetent at this. There. Damn. Wait, what? I guess that wasn't a contradiction. What's wrong? Okay. Well, now I'm all sorts of confused. Oh, wait, am I supposed to... Oh, I, I know what I messed up. And I can tell you when I it was only Oh crap. Okay, hang on. How do you do the how do you do the thing? How do you do the thing? How do you do the thing? You know, the thing where I I take the thing. Alright, okay. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. There we go. That's what I wanted. And I, it out. And I lost a bunch of seconds because I accidentally tried to shoot something that I couldn't. Ugh. It's not fair that you're using my horrible reflexes to mess me up, man. I don't like it. And, and no, no, don't do that. No. What? Why did it do that? I'm deeply confused as to why it did that. So many buttons, and they all do a different thing, and it's irritating. Mm. Okay. I can tell you exactly what I yes, I'm sure you can. Now please just shut up so I can shoot the damn stupid thing. Why? Why? What? Who? It didn't even bounce off or anything. It just. I am getting kind of angry now. Okay. I can tell you exactly what I Okay. Hang on. Fine. One more time. There was only one that took. There was two every other time I did that. I was waiting for the second one to show up. Just. Wait, was that? Did it? Was it the dying message again? What did it change? I can tell you exactly where I found the dying I am legitimately getting incredibly frustrated right now. Okay. Why did it change back? I'm wasting all of my abilities and powers and everything. Swear to God, if I don't do it this time, I'm going to get really pissed off. You think you're annoyed? Try being me right now. Okay, fine. Slow down. Shoot. Thank you. We can finally move on. That was stupid as hell. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. Why couldn't that have just shown up in a drop-down menu? It was blatantly obvious anyway. Shouldn't have had to gone through all that hoops. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation, and you weren't at the murder scene, so there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, hero. When did you see the message? Thank you. Uh, hold on. You're focusing on the wrong part. Why does it matter when I saw it? Because you... You know what? I'm not even gonna bother. All you gotta do is read the Vienna Sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is. Toko! The what? I don't even know where to begin with that one. That was pretty... That, yeah, what on... What? What? He's just trying to confuse us. Did he hit his head? Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Well, no, not really. Um, yeah? <laughs> I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. All right, how do I prove that's not the case? 100%, without a doubt, she wrote it. And this is me talking, so you know it's true. Yeah, you're not a horribly compulsive liar. Without a doubt. No, I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. Once again. Whoa, hang on, what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on. Lock on, attack. Okay, it's these things. Oh, I, okay. Usually they save fees for the end of the trial. Show me the proof. Okay. He's 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. You're gonna have to bear with me on this. I kind of need to focus. The occult is bull 
crab. The end is nigh! Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bull crap. Okay, whoa, that was easy. Show me the proof. There, there's your truth. There's your, your truth, your proof, and everything in between. Ugh. Man, it feels like my tongue is too big for my ma my mouth. I'm, I'm completely unconvinced. I'm having Sakura so much trouble that talking. Message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But she didn't have any blood on her hands. That's why she brought that up. Ah. Her hands were completely free of blood. Ugh, completely forgot about that. What? The answer is pretty clear at this point. Hero could very well have written it himself. Yep. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Well, I appreciate you giving up easily enough. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. Ta-da! But why would you write something like that? B because... Because I killed her! Excusez-moi? You're admitting to killing her? Please, just let me explain what happened. Okay, not like that's... This... Okay, this entire thing has been going by way too fast. There's obviously more to it than that. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. No one was asking for your opinion. And when I got there... Sorry, but do you mind waiting? I asked a couple of other people to meet us as well. O okay. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. O sure, thanks. And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Yeah, sounds about right. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was gonna try and kill me. I don't see how, but okay. She was gonna kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I sincerely doubt that that was enough to kill her. It wouldn't explain the vomiting of blood or the poison or the anything or the other broken bottle. So unless there's a whole lot more to this story, there's, you know more to this story in another sense. I, I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. Yeah, I mean, I believe you. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, to be fair, I mean... I'm pretty sure anybody in this situation would have written your name instead of anybody else's. Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me. Boil me. Do whatever you want. You're not gonna get off that easy. What do you mean? It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. Well, yeah, I mean, if you roast or boil a person, they probably end up dying. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. Whoa, calm down, lady type. That is not the case. No, I think there's more to Hero's story. So much more. There's like a bazillion and a half other clues that point to things happening differently. What are you talking about? What else could there be? Cool your jets, Mamma Jamma. There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things, but what? which one thing are you talking about? And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. I'm not sure if that's a reference or not. So what is it that Hero did, did that doesn't make sense? What he would have done to, had to do after writing the message, it doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why? Why did you why did you hide it, bro? That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden. Does it? If you were trying to, you know, make somebody else take the fall for you, you wouldn't have hidden the dying message. By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Yeah! Oh, well, 
Uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Which means somebody else is involved. Really? He's lying. He's gotta be lying. And apparently it was Toka who did it. You were probably the one in the locker too, weren't you? I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. I mean, yeah, he thinks he did it. Why would he try and cover up something so minute? He's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. Now, who has an established history with tampering with crime scenes to make mysteries more enticing? Hmm. Glare, glare. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I mean, I don't think he did, but I mean, you I, I, people should be pointing fingers at him because he's the one known for doing it. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? Well, we're trying to find out. Hence why I'm asking you to cool your jets. If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Someone who wouldn't like what would have been written. There's only one choice. Toko. Er Glad I'm getting my health back Toko, at least. Right? Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? I mean, we all know Bakio wouldn't give a damn. Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? I do find that a little odd, seeing as how much of a complete and total weenie you are. Why would I have... Wait, but more important, that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? Nope. Hero just admitted it. That's right. I killed her. Shut up. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah, there you go. Who asked you? Uh, a lot of people, apparently. I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bot. But that's not where this case ends. Seriously, Makoto wouldn't have died from a single empty glass bottle getting bounced across his head. That's really not that big of an, an attack. What do you mean? What he means is that Hiro isn't the killer. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Man, now who's getting hostile and defensive? Hiro, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more... It should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so, what do you want me to do? Literally what she just asked. Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. We haven't reached the end of the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer, not by a country mile. And I have to prove that. All right, let's hope I can figure out how and do it in a way that doesn't take me half an hour. Ah, oh, that's a lot of things. Okay. Hang on. The experiment. The experiment. The... Oh, boy. I didn't read all those. I didn't want to, but Yellow powder. I did it. Kyoko's examination. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit over from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that... Oh! Yeah, just once. Okay. But is that where I shoot? The first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. I forgot about that. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I just had to make sure that that was the only option I had when it came to shooting something. I didn't want to end up having another endless cycle of nonsense. Okay, do I have the right thing? I, I do. To, but I grabbed him on a and I hit over from behind. Before she could do it. You hit her from behind, and you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. And what, what? Huh? Where? What? Who? When? Where? What? Why? How? Hen? Shoot. What status of the body? It got hit twice. How? I didn't want to, but I did it. What? I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. Oh, the examination. I thought that. I, I thought that was the experimentation with the it. bottles. Uh -huh. You hit her from behind. I double, triple checked, and I still you screwed everything up. Once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. Oh my god. I am so sorry for being no, so bad at this, guys. I am so sorry. I just want to know who done did it. <laughs> if Sakura died from Hiro's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Yeah, why would someone hit a corpse in the head? <gasps> two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. Although, admittedly, probably more than a couple lacerations, what with it being, you know, glass bottles and everything. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. 
personally, I'm inclined to believe her. I'm honestly more inclined to believe it's her profession. She's very clearly the world's greatest detective. Take that, Batman. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Besides, you play with dead bodies! Ugh, you know what, whatever. Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. What with there being two missing Monokuma bottles? Hold on! How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? You know, deductive reasoning, common sense, logic, things you apparently don't have, and I just realized this place is decked out like some sort of Egyptian tomb. Why? She was attacked twice? With two Monokuma bottles? Yeah, because two are missing. It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. I'm kind of annoyed that this is a thing. It's like super obvious. Who doesn't know all of the pieces on a chessboard? That's that's common knowledge, isn't it? I probably only played chess twice in my entire life and I know this. Also, there's look, there's something very suspicious about those bottles. Look at the two missing spots. Oh my god. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Kind of annoyed that we're stick we're sticking with this. Why can't we just go up right out and say all of it? So obvious. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? Yepper. And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground along with the chess piece it had inside. That we did. That was the bottle Kiro hit Sakura with, right? I mean, possibly? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. And because of all the swept up pieces weighing more than one, it implies that there were two pieces, but someone tried to clean it up and they didn't do it a very good job. Bada bing, bada boom. Toko probably just grabbed the most obvious pieces and hoped for the best. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? Because it's one of the single most obvious things in this entire game next to the whole Leon message. Oh wait, no, it's four numbers. No, come on, guys. That's easy. Why do I have to bring this up? If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. Just say chess. We're making a huge honking deal out of something so obvious and minute. Chess! Chess! Why are we having a minigame about this? Oh my god. Alright. Where's a C? Give me a C. Get out of the way. Oh. Thank you and good night, sir. Now I understand. That was needlessly complicated for no reason whatsoever. That's it. The chess pieces. Oh my god. Took you about an hour too long, but you finally got to it. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. Durr. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. Okay then, so that one on the far right is a king, which means that the knight and the queen are missing. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was... The knight. The knight, if I remember. As you should, you're the one that picked the damn thing up. So, what's that matter? There's still a missing queen, wow, you're dumb. I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. How could you not? In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. I mean, holy crap, it's not Chinese checkers. This is standard information. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. Mm-hmm. And on the ground was the knight. So where'd the queen go? Oh, so the queen is missing. Derp, da da derp. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? You are stupid. Yeah, Shogi is way better. Oh my god, I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. It probably was. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. You know, except for everything. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. <sighs> I mean, okay. 
if you really want me to, to you know, rip holes into... I'm, seriously, these aren't even holes in a testimony. These are like gaping craters. I could fit my entire head through these things. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. <sighs> then the bottle that was missing, it was completely intact. It was busted! Oh! The bottle must have been broken. Well, duh! What makes you so sure? A lot of reasons! Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. Yeah! And what is this evidence? Please let me just pick it out so we can move past this entire charado. El charado. All right, where is the Experimento della Magnifico? There, there it is. I got it. Here, have some evidence all up in your Earlier, face. Kyoko and I did a little experiment. Not that kind. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces of the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. Say it was science. Get your head out of the gutter. Ta-da! What we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... Dramatic there pause. There's actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Ta-da! So from this... We can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. Ta-da! But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. Although, with all of the pieces all scrun about like that, that would have been completely impossible. In fact, had you managed it, then that would have been much more impressive. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces. Honestly, at that point, you probably should have just tried to clean up the entire dang thing. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. And I'm guessing they probably weren't in the right state of mind to, you know, go and get a weight catcher thingy. What The thing we did. Hey, why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There can be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by her second attacker! Wait. Some bowling aficionados? Was that, that what the was third one was? The scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. Okay, there's no way that's what that said. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. Yep, stands to reason. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? If that's even your real name. And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Hiding in the locker for whatever reason. Wait, I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but, but there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it. Oh, is there not now? No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Oh my god. You know, it'd be best if you just stopped talking. Two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her. Well, actually, it was more about like maybe eight minutes or so. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Of course you do. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. And at no point you felt it was necessary to bring this up. You did. Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. Why is this all only coming to light now? And you just now decided to share that with us? Oh my god, you made me agree with Byakuya. That's like... Oh my god, no, please. That's like the worst thing. After the shock of thinking I killed someone, I forgot all about it. Okay, that's actually a justifiable excuse. I'll, I'll, I'll let it slide. If someone tighten the screws on his brain, I think they've come loose. I'm pretty sure he never had any to begin with. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? Hey, locker. You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. 
a LaCour or something, perhaps. What? Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous. Whoa. Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin. You're the one that looks like a human embodiment of a sentient cockroach. No, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that shows Toko was hiding in the rec room. And I have it! She left it there for anyone to find! A new element has been added to bullet time battles. Say what? Why are we still getting tutorials? So far, you've probably been pressing the Y button during your final strike without a second thought. But from now on, you're going to have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Now you'll have to choose the proper truth bullet to use during your coup de grace. You'll select it the same way you do the non-stop battle, simply pressing the LB button. Also like to debate if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bullets to choose from. But for educational purposes, we're going to pretend you're set to mean regardless just this once, okay? Fantastic. Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go, you... I've only reached the halfway point?! What?! I thought I was in the tail end by this point! The hell?! How long is this game?! Ugh, alright. Putting that past, I guess we gotta do this noise again. Let's rock. It's a lie! I admit nothing. I hate you. Yeah, I hate you too, lady. No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing. I curse you. I curse you. Oh, whoa, that was easy. All right, glass this shards on the floor. Enough. Lock her handprint, yo! Okay, there we go. Wow, that one was easier than the first one was. I'm fine with that, though. Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the walker? And considering the amount of people that are left alive at this point, I imagine we wouldn't even need to, like, actually get accurate fingerprints or anything. Just slap your hand up in there. You're probably the only one with the that sized hand. They must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? That it might perhaps belong to someone with your face? Okay, it doesn't. Well, then you don't know your own hands very well, and that's really sad. Okay, then. Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? Bam ba da bam yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. God, son of a bitch! And... Gah! Sorry, something fell off my desk. I gotta go pick it up. Why do we have to go through all of these hoops? It's that easy. It's always that easy. Why do we even bother talking to this woman? Just have Bucky would do it! Really angry now. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Mm. Then you killed Sakura! At this point, we all did! I don't even know anymore! No, I swear, there's no way! Bakya, how about you just ask her, did you do it? No. Yeah, she'll just say it. Friggin' puppet. Out with it. I probably did. Thank you! We couldn't have done this from the very beginning. We should have just done this at the start of every trail. Yo, Toko, did you do it? No. There we go! Instantaneously! Save us so much time! Straight up again? Wait, what do you mean probably? It's not even a game thing, okay? No, this this is still this is still all about the characters for the record, okay? I'm not angry at game mechanics or or anything of that sort. Sure, maybe a little frustrated here and there about a couple things, but nothing to actually get upset about. It's the freaking characters. I hate Toko, and I hate Bakuya so much. Good lord, they're the living set. They're the living equivalent of a septic tank and a bag of. I don't even know horse manure. Whatever. All they do is prolong and aggravate. And instigate! I hate them so much! Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? The sooner I can get this through, the better. Please let it be true that you actually ended up doing it so we can execute you. Huh. 
now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to get over it. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go, but I was too scared to face her head on. No surprises there. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Although more than most likely you just saw him write something, you probably didn't know it was your name until you went over and looked at it. Well, that's awkward. Understatement? So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Yeah, well, whatever. Hindsight. Imbeciles, all of you. Shut up, I swear to God, if I could... If I could... Rip off those glasses and shove it up your own ass. God damn. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a... Like a monster growling. And when I turned around... There was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines. Okay, I'm, I, I just, I still, every single time this plot point comes up, I'm just gonna keep throwing this out here. Why didn't you react when Junko died? You were right there with everybody else. You just kind of, you didn't, you never, you never transformed. And that irritates me so much. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. <laughs> Get it back! You know, you're marginally a better person to speak to and listen to speak than your Toko side. But at the same time, I still would prefer if you didn't exist. It was your fault after all. My fault, Master's fault. When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights. Or instead of all of this unbelievably stupid non sequiturs, you can get to the freaking point. Just answer the question: Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. Bright yellow. You should probably remember that. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see. Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. Ah, uh, admittedly, very few would. And well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. And there you go. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! You're speaking to an unreprint serial killer. Come on, girl. No! She's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence. Didn't you? Bizarrely forward thinking from a sociopath or psychopath. Yeah, no, he doesn't have to be socio. That's psychopath. I need to get all of the terminology correct. It's a very important distinction to make. I wasn't about to die for some woman. If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing master. And yet, you have yet to even attempt. Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. Please drag him into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Faith got it out for me. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. I've, I've watched an episode of Mythbusters! Getting hit in the head with an empty glass bottle hurts, but it's not that big a deal! Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! I guess... Keep talking like that and Hina's gonna... Well, then, that's that. No, we've still got more stuff to go over. I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. What is up with you in trying to expediate things? No, not quite yet. Um, not yet? Why not yet? 
Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's. But that still wasn't the end of it. No, obviously not. What do you mean? How do you not know? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. It really, truly does tick me off to no end that I legitimately don't know what he's talking about right now. Command, darling. Stop having a face. The one who killed Sakura is... Well, I don't know! Not Hero, and I'm starting to... Th it's probably not Toko either. Eh, examination, status of Sakura's body, yellow powder. Okay, gotta remember all that. I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed your head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shell! Then what was she doing on the chair? All right then, there you go. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. Smiling, again. Why is no one ever bringing that up yet? If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. I don't even know if that's even physically possible to die smiling. I mean, rigor mortis takes a while to set in and takes more to, you know, frown than smile. I don't really know. So, you finally noticed. Shut up! Just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Under most circumstances, probably. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. That has to be it. The evidence that proves that this, there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf. You mean the blood covered in this? You know, yeah, I mean, that was kind of a thing. Not sure why it's taking so long to bring that up. In front of the shelf. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? Yes, because I'm totally sure she'd be able to physically lift Sakura's body. All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. At the very least, we're, you know, flat out sedating that already. There's no way I can move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. You know, this probably isn't the right time for it, but... It's something I guess I never really saw the inherent need to know. 218 pounds. Pure muscle. Damn. Uh, just in contrast. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, yeah, no, that definitely checks out. Then, then what's the deal? Well... Are you still convinced the case has come to an end? <sighs> I don't like where this is going. Because if that's the full extent of Hiro's involvement and the full extent of Toko or Genocide Janglebutt's, you know, side of the whole story, and if Byakuya did it, then that would sort of imply that he wouldn't be trying to dig into things so severely, because if he stopped here, then they would have, you know, convicted the wrong person. He would have won. Ha ha ha, maniacal laugh, evil pompous nonsense word I'm not going to use. Trying to keep that to a minimum. Already feel bad about dropping something just a little while ago. Which really only leaves Hina and the fact that she's constantly trying to rush people into doing things. Into voting for people implies that even further. And I physically don't think my heart can take the possibility of her actually having been the person involved with all of this. I just don't think I can take that. What? What? If there's only one thing that I can do in this game, please, please don't let Hina have been the killer. Please. Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. It looks like she's the only person who could have done it. Ah, oh, crap, and it wouldn't even made sense. I don't know how the- I don't know the story behind jamming the door closed, but... It makes sense. Everything about it makes 
sense from a perspective. Uh, this better not be, no. Curveball, I want a curveball. I want 12 different curveballs. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. It was open, not an option. So she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? Yeah, would've made sense. And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, I don't think that's possible. No, don't act like you are the one to notice this. The reason there's no way Toko was hiding in the locker is because... Da, 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 I saw it for myself. Because I was in the locker. Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. And that door was wide open, apparently. I had... I didn't notice that. that. Point, the locker was already open. And the fact that... Even after being told that he remembers that, I find it odd that he does. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Okay, then. Where was she hiding? I don't know. I don't know. What's this whole locked room thing about, anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. It really sucks when people like this make a point. You're lying! No, I don't think she is. Sadly, as much as I would like for her to be the culprit. No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. Yeah, well, literally anybody with half of a brain cell would be able to tell that much. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. No, it was poison. And? Well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. Poison. That's because you're overlooking vital information. It in her, in her defense, she'd have no way of knowing about any of this stuff. She was in the room the entire time. Unless she was involved in the whole thing, in which case, I guess she would know everything, but I still refuse to believe that's a possibility. How do you forget so much so often, Makoto? There's another possible explanation. Maybe it's... Whoa! Apparently we're doing this. Okay. Why can't I just say poison? I have a microphone. Voice activation. Poison. Poison. Woo! 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 What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jewel's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? Well, I botched that one pretty bad. All right, whatever. If there's one place that might find a clue, it would have to be written in there. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if I was... The, just saying the yellow powder didn't feel right. What was it? Vomiting blood! Vomiting blood! That's generally something you want to be concerned about. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. Which is not normal. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. Chance nothing, it's pretty much fact. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. I mean, it's not impossible, but just that's highly unlikely. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Uh, yeah, it would have just said blood from mouth. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. Because of course you looked in there. You need a chick in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! You were the last person within like a 500 million mile radius to be making comments like that. No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. Well, if there was any time for one of those CSI stings with the speedboat, that would definitely have been it. <laughs> Not bad, lady. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Pa 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 poison Some sort of reaction within her body, most likely. Perhaps with poison! Sakura was poisoned. Okay, thank you. You're speeding things up. I appreciate that. Poison? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. Wow, now I really wish there was. <laughs> Shut up. It isn't possible. How is it not possible? Is it really so hard to believe? And let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. Please do. I'd like to not actually have to do something for once. You can explain it? Of course. 
if you don't mind. No, please, go ahead. I'd take, I'll take any opportunity to not have to do something. Everyone, quiet! Shut up. But you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. I mean, you could have, but you're not smart enough to. You just went right back to your room. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. To be fair, you're not the only one who did, but whatever, you're not going to share credit. Is that the poison? No, I'm... Pretty sure it's just a laxative. It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. The skull and crossbones kinda give that away, don't it? But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections. A, B, and C. Do you have any idea how many drop-down menus and make-your-case arguments I would have had to have gone through to be able to say just as much as he is right now? In section A, dietary a lot. supplements, is the in answer. B, reagents, and in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? No, it came from section D. Well, that's the question, isn't it? The bottle of poison Bakia showed us. I'm sure I know where he got it. It was on the same shelf as the supplements, I'm positive. Yeah, section A, yo. Guess I gotta get involved somehow. Poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? Huh? You just said that... Section A was for supplements or whatever. Not hard to figure out, dude. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Wh what do you mean? I mean this. I couldn't believe my eyes. Bakia put the bottle of poison to his lips and... Well, clearly it's not going to kill him, but my god, that would be wonderful if it did. We were so shocked at what we were seeing, all we could do is stand there and watch. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, Bakio was not calm as ever. That tastes awful. Oh no! No, he's not. You can't just- Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! Look, he obviously didn't, but if he did, would we really be obligated to do something about it? The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Yeah, well, you know, it's not like you've ever bothered with actual supplements in any capacity or during your entire life. Good lord, I doubt you've ever even lifted something over five pounds. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Now oh, come on, you're surprised by this! Can I see that bottle for a second? Oh, sure. Do whatever you like. You know, drinking it was entirely unnecessary. You just wanted to make people react. This is... It's protein powder. Yeah, that would be the case. No, he actually guzzled an entire bottle of poison. That's, that's totally something he would do. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? Well, at the very least, that explains why Sakura wouldn't have been able to figure out that it was poison. Because, I mean, obviously she would have read it ahead of time. Which means that conversely, the poison must have been in. Could it be? Oh yeah, this is necessary. Really? We're doing this? Huh. <sighs> Okay. It took me a second to realize specifically what it was I'm s supposed to be uh, writing here. Da -da -da -da. I was confused about the second word. Waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. Man, I sure wish... I honestly wish that, you know, I would transcend space and time whenever I was trying to no, think of something. That's a really handy power you got there, Makoto. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. Stands to reason. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Durr. Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. Wow, they actually managed to not seize an opportunity to make fun of me. 
Truly it is the most Christmas of miracles. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. That was actually a pretty wicked sweet reaction from yeah, Yashikero there. Something at the scene? Derp da da derp! Seriously, why do I have You're to point this stuff out? A protein drink, right? No, they gave her a Vienna sausage. A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. Why couldn't I have brought this up from the start? You know, I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. Stands to reason, yeah. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. I mean, I get that Bakia is all about, you know, making him seem like he's better than everybody else. But I don't think it would extend so far as to, you know, implicitly, you know, convict himself. I feel like he would withhold information if it allowed him to get scot-free. So I do really think he has nothing to do with this, which means he is the only possible option. And I'm kind of in seething rage right now about that fact. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. <sighs> I'm guessing it's the footprints. I don't know why I had to bring it up myself. She very clear. The dude's clearly about to bring it up anyway. I got Gotta look smart in front of people, I guess. Footprints left behind in front of the shelf. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. And we're just taking your word at face value. We seem to do that a lot, honestly. Kind of weird. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. Um, I kind of see a glaring issue with that. The footprints don't go from A to C, they just go to A and back. Which means somebody just walked over, grabbed something from A, and then left. So, if they were exact- if they were also the same person that switched everything around, then that would make no sense. Also, how'd the bottle get broken? And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. You don't- you honestly don't see the, the problem with your- Okay, well, at least I get to point it out and make him look stupid. I'm cool with that. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who- It was me. No, it wasn't. The footprints. They're mine. You know what? They probably are. But you didn't do it. Maybe I'm just in denial. But you didn't do it. You didn't do it. I refuse to believe it. If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then, Ogre's killer was... Not Hina. Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. No, you didn't. Just as I suspected. Well, then you suspected entirely incorrectly. There's no way she did it. I refuse to believe it. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... I got was Leon seriously on the list? The only ones. Oh, so Byakuya. That explains why you... You know, brazenly asked if it was him. Yeah. I mean, it would have made sense for him to do that regardless of the fact, because, you know, he just clearly hates everybody. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Look, okay, listen. Maybe she thinks she did it. Maybe... Maybe implicitly it might have happened, but there is no way in hell that Hina actually did this. I refuse. 
It doesn't make sense. She's too damn nice. Plus, you have been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? But no, it doesn't make sense. If she was going to kill somebody, it would not have been Sakura. That would have made absolutely no sense. Hell, she straight up slapped your ass. Not literally, but you know what I mean. This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? And I have no idea why she would be so readily interested in admitting it, but she couldn't have done it. I, I can't believe it. No. You can't believe it because it isn't true. What about it can't you believe? A lot of things. I just need to sort my thoughts. Well, it's just the two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. No. I... no. Your lack of understanding of the human mind and social interactions is... truly baffling. And this is coming from a social recluse like me. You just don't do that to a friend. Hina used that trust to kill her. She did not! She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. Admittedly, she did. She is trying to trick us. I don't know why. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? It's not. Did you really kill Sakura? She didn't. And if you did... Which she didn't. Why? Why would you do that? She didn't. I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. Hina, I have absolutely no idea why you're trying to convince us all that you did this. But the last thing Sakura said to Makoto before all of this came crashing down, even if she didn't finish it, her point was clear, was to take care of you if anything happened to her. She believes and trusts that you would never do something like this. And I'm inclined to believe her. So I'm going to respect that last wish and protect the ever-loving hell out of you no matter how hard you try and make us think that you did it. Because it doesn't make sense. And then... She downed it. All at once. And... And then... Hold it! Thank you, Kyoko. We gonna finally pull the rug out of this? Because the footprints don't make sense. And the powder on Sakura's shoe. Wait. So then, if Yashihiro, Toko, Byakuya, and Hina didn't do it. And Makoto and Kyoko were off doing stuff with Alter Ego. And the door was jammed so no one could get in. Oh my god. It was suicide. I'm not convinced. I don't... I don't know how. No, I know how. I don't know what. Sakura killed herself. Lord knows she's the only one who could. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? I mean, that's one of the reasons why this is absolute bunk, but I can also throw out some actual scientific facts and logic at you, seeing as how that's the only thing you seem to ever respond to, even then, lightly. You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Mm-hmm. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent defeating them. Look, dude, I'm sure you do absolutely wonderful on one of those unbelievably trashy reality shows that you seem to think you're on, but in the real world, humans are just a little bit more complex than the black and white 
BS that you're throwing around. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. And with those words, your complete and total idiocy is entirely validated and confirmed. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. That is not what happened. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. And she's infinitely smarter than you. How many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Until you finally bother to listen? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. Although that still plays a role. But there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Good question. Well... You didn't. Because you didn't do it. And I don't know why you're trying to make us think that you did. That doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? Uh-huh. You don't know how it happened because you can't think of a reason. No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Mm -hmm. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? I'm convinced of it at this point. I have no idea why Sakura would do what she did, but it's the only thing that makes any sense. And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. You mean other than the footprints and the powder on the shoe implying that Sakura herself was the one standing over by the broken bottle? Where the powder, she's the one that made the powder fly out, and that's why it was on her shoe. She was standing next to the sea rack. It all comes together. It makes sense. How did you miss all of this? Are you truly so desperate to pull the trigger on somebody that you really can't see the obvious in front of you? Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? A lot of things. I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too... obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That... that was... I was just... nervous. So... I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. I don't know if you know this or, or not, Hina, but you're a terrible liar. And the fact that you're terrible at telling us how you managed to somehow pull this off just proves that you didn't do it even more. You didn't notice? That's just how it was. What can I do? Mm-hmm. Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. So I can rip this apart. But how come? That doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Stop. Why are you doing this? Hina, please. I'd like to know, too. I'm your friend, right? Come on. Please? F fine. Thank you. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. Yeah, the sweat coming out of your face right now kind of implies that you're not entirely as sure as you thought you were. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Yeah, uh huh? Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. I'm gonna prove your innocence whether you want me to or not, Hina. Well... Right away, I went to Section C and got the poison. And right then and there, the contradiction lays itself in front of me. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. There'd still be footprints in that case. I see. Okay, then. Go on. So then I moved to Section A and got the protein powder, and that's where I switched them. There is no footprints from C to A or A to C. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. You did no such thing. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And... That's it. Great lie, but I'm gonna have to bust you on it. That story you just told. First you went to Section C to get the poison. 
then moved to Section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from Section C to Section A. Do I have that correct? Mm, yeah. Then why is there only one set of footprints leading from one section and then back from that section? Unless you leaned on over to it. Not having it. Ain't that a little strange? Yeah, very. Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being oddly pushy. Yeah, okay. I forgot you were even in the room, so if you could go back to not talking. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? Until I have the truth. Thank you, Makoto. First, I went to Section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from Section C. No, that's wrong! I have no mood for anything else right now. You said you went to get the poison from Section C, and that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah, what about it? And after that, you said you moved from Section C to Section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. Just straight to A and back again. That contradicts what you just said. What? Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? Doesn't seem very likely, no. No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. So if she never, if she didn't even bother to pay attention to leaving footprints, she also very obviously couldn't have made a deliberate effort to confuse us. Yeah, I think she just realized that too. What the? Hina, what's the meaning of this? Oh, what's that? Is your little hypothesis falling apart? Man, it's almost like you made it out of... It's, al it's almost like you made it out of matchsticks and guar gum. Uh, um, well... You lied to us. Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Well, you see... What, what the... Okay, I'm liking where this is going. What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> and the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. Oh no, there's still another one. What? Even more holes that you never bothered to figure out, Mr. Ace Detective. Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Except there is! Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. <laughs> I did? You have no idea. Man, watching this guy struggle is the best. It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you, of all people, would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Rub it in deeper. I don't know what's in there. I have no idea where this is. she's going with all this, but I don't care. Just say it already. What is it you think you found? I don't think she thinks anything. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't be saying anything if it wasn't conclusive. I found this. A piece of glass. It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle. And the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. Oh man, could you admit? Oh, he almost swallowed broken glass. That would have been awesome. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. <laughs> what? what is it? It's glass. Oh, come on, man. You need new glasses or something? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? Oh yeah, of course. All right, sure. Huh? Me? Fine. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. 
I mean, oh! Are you passing it off to me because he's always calling me an idiot, so if I'm able to figure this sort of thing out and he can't, it'll truly destroy his ego? Because I'm down for that. The shard of light blue glass Kyoko found in the bottle of poison. I think I remember now. It was the rec room window! Oh it's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window! The wall! The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. Booyah! You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. A question I was kind of wondering myself, but at the same time, I didn't want to say it because maybe it was already answered and I would have felt it stupid. <laughs> How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? Yes, okay, thank you. What's so strange about that? A lot of things. Also, who said you could talk? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us, where was it? The bottle the poison should have been when I broke the rec room window. According to what Hina told us... Uh... Should have been... Okay, no. Dang it. Sorry, brain farts. They happen to the best of us. It's three in the morning, man. That is what you said, right, Hina? Uh... Um... And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? Indeed it was! In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, uh, hold on. You're moving too fast. Too bad! No one's stopping this crazy train! I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? The fact that there was glass underneath it. We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Just so nobody can, you know, get any funny ideas. Huh? I'm pretty sure she's going to ask if anybody accidentally moved that thing by bopping it with their foot or something. It has to do with the protein can. Because if any of them do... Because if it, if anybody did, then that would answer the entire question right then and there. But if nobody hit it, and then that means it was placed on those glass shards after the fact. And no one can say otherwise. It all confirms it together. After Sakura's body was discovered... Did anyone move it, or trip over it, or anything like that? God, I hope not, or our argument's about to fall apart. What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Yeah, sure, why not? Doesn't matter. Answer anyway, stupid. Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no. Not that I remember. No, what, you don't remember every single minute detail about everything you've ever seen or done? Surprising! Yeah, me either. Not me. <laughs> okay then, that settles it. Yeah, okay, there we go. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Just hand me the microphone, I'll point out the glass whenever you want. Oh, come on! How can you say that? Pretty easily. How can you know what I don't know? <laughs> there are so many things I could say. <sighs> because there's evidence, the proof would be the pudding. Okay, I was hoping for a drop-down menu. Okay, I guess we're doing it this way. Fine. Empty drink. Empty drink. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying... Someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible! It, it had to have been in there the whole time! It had to be! It was in there before the rec room was unlocked! Hmm. When the locker room was unlocked, in other words, when I broke the window. If I concentrate on that... 
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use on what here. There's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. I only have one idea, but I also don't see how it would work. But I'm going to try it anyway. I've got enough health. Might as well give it a try. When it comes to that protein, there's not a doubt until the locked room was unlocked. It absolutely was not in I don't there. see how using this on so what I'm about saying, to use it on makes any sense. Someone planted it there after we... No. No, that's impossible. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. Yeah, I figured. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be using on what. When it comes to that this is bad, I only have four minutes. There's not a doubt in my mind. Source of the powder? Until the locked room was unlocked. It absolutely would so show your someone planted it there. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, no, this is bad. I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. Oh, this is bad, 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 this is bad. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second, g g just, just, just give me a second, okay? I need to think about this. I don't want to screw up any more than I already have. I I can't afford more mistakes than, like, oh, no, okay. Whoa, 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 okay. Just taking a step back. Give me a minute, give me a minute. I'm, I'm panicking. I need, I need to breathe. I'll be back in a second. Okay, 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 okay. I just, I don't, I, I don't see how any of the things, uh, boy. <laughs> I have no idea. When it comes to that protein pan, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked. I have no choice but to just throw bullets at things and hope for the best. Because I have no idea. This is bad. No. No, that's impossible. It had to have been in there the whole time. Please work. It had to be. It was in there before the right room. Oh my god! No, that's wrong. I mean, there was only so many things that could have been, but maybe it was something I had to point out with you Yoko. Doesn't matter. We're done. We're moving all on. Around the room, right? <sighs> I am freaking out, man. Of course, it came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. He also found pieces underneath the can. What? Holy crap! I'm screen capping this. Print screen. That's probably one of the most beautiful pictures I've ever seen in my life. And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. <laughs> I, I see. So that's your explanation. You got any counterpoints? Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case... That would explain the can being on top of the glass. It's all about covering them tracks. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room. And the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. Boy, I'm honestly feeling kind of lightheaded. This is why it takes me so long to play this game. It takes so much out of me. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? 
because she killed herself, and I don't know why. I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? That's my assumption. Such a ridiculous fiction is... The truth? Exactly what happened. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please, tell us. Politeness? Good God, we really did break him. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It had to have been Sakura with the with the powder on her shoe, right? It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. I don't think she was involved in any of this. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room. Sakura herself. I got it! I think it was Sakura herself. In retrospect, from that drop-down menu, it was kind of blatantly obvious. It was the only one that made any sense. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? And that would turn a murder into a what? Everybody tell me now. I'm not sure I know the word. What, what are you talking about? There's no way. What I want to know is why you are trying to make us think that you did it. On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! I'm not! Why? Why would you lie like that? Why are you lying? Sakura definitely went to section C. Kyoko already showed me the evidence I need. Now I have to hit Hina with it. I have to make her accept it. Are we gonna have another bullet thingy? Holy crap, we are! That's three! That is a lot. Sorry, Hina. You're a liar! Know that I would never do this if I didn't find it absolutely necessary. Stop talking. She asked me to protect you, and by God, I don't care how much you don't want me to. You're wrong. I hate you. Please don't. I'm just trying to help you. You're a liar. What are you saying? Wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I. No, you didn't! Stop You're the only one yelling! Do you have any kind of proof Sakura took the poison? Yes, I do! This should prove it. Hina, did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? I'm guessing that you didn't. It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? Kind of mustard colored, I guess. Want to get technical? So the powder we found on Sakura. What else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? There are very few yellow things in this world. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. So what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? Well, she spilt it on it. Pretty simple. And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. Why are you doing this, Hina? I don't understand. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing. Which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around. And some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? To get the poison. I don't know why she did it and... I, I have nothing but whys. The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. I mean, it's obvious that this is what happened, but why did she kill herself? What... What would it explain? And why would Hina try to make everybody think that she did it? No! It was me! I... The poison! Because... Because... Because I killed her! 
No, you didn't! Why are you still saying that? No, you didn't kill him. You could have never done that! The one that killed Sakura. The connection between Sakura and the poison, the unsolved mystery of the locked room, there's only one way to explain it. Here's my answer! I just don't know why. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. <laughs> What? The killer was... Sakura? I can't think of anything else it could be. Wait, so you're saying... It was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly! I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. Yeah, that's... Probably the best way to put it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it, all so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because, of course, Sakura wanted to create the locked room. She wanted to make it... She wanted to make it clear to everybody that nobody but her could have killed herself. If the door was locked, there would have been no way for anybody to ever have done anything. But I still don't understand why the she did it. Room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? But why? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door. And I thought that was weird! Because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. You said you were going to go get everyone else. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. Because there was done, never a can to begin with. Together. And once you were back in the rec room... While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. But why? Why did you do it? Why would you do this? Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. Just like I said. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. So... Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yes, so you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? But if we all accused her, then everyone would have died. I don't understand. No. No. No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is. Actually, no. You're right. 
We have to end this properly. Okay. This is gonna take me forever. It always does, so... I'll just cut to when I actually figure out this manga thing. I really like it. It's a really cool presentation, but it takes me forever, and I always get something wrong. So, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm... I'm pretty sure I got this right. The killer is let's you. Let, let's hope that I did. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. I don't have much to say. I'm just gonna let the game do it. Those people My were Hero, Toko, and Yakuya. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko. She got there one step ahead of everyone else, and looked around for a good hiding spot. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Next to arrive was Hiro. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toko. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear, she jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood-soaked Sakura, and she freaked out. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the clean chest piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario, and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort...
that's the full truth of the case. Why? Oh, I don't understand. Why? Why did she kill herself? Why is Hina trying to make us kill her? I don't understand. My brain hurts. Sakura took her own life. And you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? Why? That's what happened? But, Makoto, how did you... How did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? I don't care. I just want to know why any of this had to happen. Huh? Oh, well, I mean... You still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. <coughs> See? Didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. This should make me happy, but I just don't care. I just want to know why things turned out the way they did. Give me an explanation already, I'm so confused. Okay, okay, I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? Shut up. Oh yeah, that's right. You serious? Shut up. <sighs> Shut up. Well, Shut up. Maybe you don't Shut up again. Shut up again. Really? Shut up again. Shut up again. Shut up again. Shut up. 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 Ever getting a reason? My entire existence! What, what did you say? We're not done! I don't understand. Come on! Why did you cry to cover up what happened? Please tell me! If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest of us. What are you thinking? And yet, why did you do that? Don't be mean! What is this? Because. What? Why? <laughs> the reason Sakura died is because all of you pushed her into a corner. You all killed her. So that's why. You should have been the one to die! I couldn't let her be the only one that died. What? what, what, what? You don't mean you were going to take us all with you? <laughs> we have to atone for our sins. Because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. What? What is this? You still don't understand, then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying with her when she died? Look at this. Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. <laughs> That's... I found it on the ground in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. <sighs> I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault, after all. But now you're suffering because of me? No forgiveness! You tried to protect me, but because of me... I can't forgive this! My closest friend got hurt. Sakura. I... Because of me, my friends are all going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. 
which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet with them. You asked to meet with those three? You can't. Don't you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk to them. But... Talk about what? Um... Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you... Hina. Please don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. Sakura. She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you'd just talked to her, you would have understood. She was a friend to all of us. And yet... Why? And yet... Despite it. You trampled all over her feelings. And then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um... No, that was just a, a misunderstanding. What are you saying? Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you. And you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. I won't forgive you. Do you have any idea how desperate she was seeing you act like that? That's what her suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Why? That's how far you'd pushed her. Uh -huh. Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. You came. Wait, 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 right here. I'll help you out. Hina. Huh? I... Oh, God. I can't take this. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. Huh? Some protein. She made her go away so she'd die. Oh, God. <sighs> Went to the chem lab to get the protein she'd asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized. I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. Sakura. She knew you wouldn't let her do it. So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura. P please Come in, please open the door. Why? Why? Why did she have to die? She had weaknesses, just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness. That's normal. And yet... Why? You all blamed her. I tried to protect her, and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. Hina. We killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner, and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> and that's why you tried to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey! Hey! I don't want to hear it! Hey! Don't wanna hear it! What is this? Hmm. What are you saying? In other words. What? Yes indeed! Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What? What the heck? Of course! Isn't it obvious? Yep. Wait, what? But Hina... Too bad. You son of a bitch. 
You scum sucking bastard! Delaying things. Stop. Oh, Shut up. Oh, Read the note. Enough already. Yes, indeed. Shut up and read the note. My good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. You see, the Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. Sorry about the cut there. Um, my, my, it's, it's 3.30 in the morning and my mom just came into my room. She was wondering why I was so upset. Uh, just, let's just keep going. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything... I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. Oh my god. That's how I came to feel. That's why Sakura... I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. She valued... everyone... above all else. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Even after everything that happened, it was all to help us. Of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, 
disharmony. The mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else, so instead she killed herself to dissolve all the tension. Oh my god, no. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. No, there was... there had to have been another way. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the mastermind has commanded. She couldn't kill anybody, so she killed herself. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. If the mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe. And above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Oh my god. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my <laughs> most treasured friends. <laughs> <sighs> I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura... ...didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating no us. No way! She wanted to stop us from fighting. To protect us. Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However... It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you <laughs> I can't especially. Keep it in, guys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakuya, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend. Who I wanted to help as much as possible. She's so much stronger than I am. Oh my god. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. <gasps> she didn't hate any of them. She had every reason to, and she didn't. I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still. What are you gonna do? Ugh. Uh -oh. <sighs> None of this would have happened if you didn't switch the note. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> huh? First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Say what? Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. You know? Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. Well? I don't blame her. 
I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina, either. Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered. Because the one we need to destroy is you. Nobody else. What? What do you want? No, it's not. <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. Phew. After all this, you still don't get it? This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. <laughs> Which is why I'm bowing out of the game? What? Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear that the others have cast aside their fear for this game. Don't make me repeat. There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Oh my god. This all got to you as much as it got to me! You're just hiding it! Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What? Oh my god. Hmm. Now I have only one thing to look forward to. It's all clear. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Byakuya, does this mean... Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. It totally happened. They're finally on our side. Hey. Well, now can you say that Sakura's death had no meaning? <laughs> I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that that never happens. What the heck? The fun time. <sighs> Let's forget about that. Oh my god, I don't care about you anything you say. You guys? Wait, what? What, 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 what? Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead. You're not gonna. But... You son of a better not. Wrong. Just because the blackened is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old student I want. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I'm very particular about the bear times one rule? That's not even a. Listen up. Breathe. Just gotta breathe. But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it'd be a shame to let it go to waste. Special guest. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. What are you talking about? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. You can't do this. Don't do it. I'm going to kill him. Oh no! I I I please. When does this end? I I got I I I need to go lie down. <laughs> I can't go more. Why <laughs> won't it end? But still. Why? Stop with the flashback game. Why are you doing this? I'm gonna 
gonna do my best. <laughs> You're pathetic. Just as I thought. Actually, of course you did. I, my, I knew that was the case. There was no way that he didn't know. What are you thinking? Yep. We never learned anything he didn't want us to know. We've never gained any ground whatsoever, have we? died so far. The deaths of each and every one of our friends. They all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Ba -bum, ba -bum. I suppose that's the word you could use for it. Well? Uh-huh. Now what? What? Yep. There's still a bit more left of Sakura's note. Huh? <laughs> I have your attention. Oh my god. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. Hina. I've spoken with the Mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, and I've learned one thing. Which is, the Mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is... You wiped our memory. I don't know how you did it, but that's what you did. That's why nobody can remember this tragic event that apparently caused the entire school to go into massive lockdown. I don't understand the context, and I don't know how you did it, but that has to be it. Too bad. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. One last line in the note. You just keep on doing this. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard. No matter what. And that's seriously it. Stronger and better person than you could ever be. Well, whatever. Who cares what some dumb muscle head has to say. Well... Please leave. Please leave. Just go away. Just go away. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was that all about? Sakura's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of this school. The Mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You... What did you do to my body? The Mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they saying the Mastermind did? What did the Mastermind do to us? I mean, did the Mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off? And the bomb explodes? 
I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo! So the class trial is over and Monokuma's gone. But... So now what do we do? Yes. What else is there other than to head back up? Uh, um... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Let's get out of here. But... I, uh... Hina must still feel responsible. Hmm. Dial back that ego a bit, girl. The kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. Yeah, okay, sure. Mm. What are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Stop talking. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Hmm. How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Then... I'll try. Huh? Eh? That totally wasn't normal, right? What? No, 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 no! What? Oh my god, I do not need this on top of everything else. What did you say? <laughs> okay, I needed that, thank you. What the heck? Oh, but please, no, no more fighting. No more fighting, no more fighting, no more fighting. Those jabs are hilarious and biting, and I love them. Every last one of them, Hina, but please stop. No, 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 no! <sighs> I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. And so Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope's Peak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms, and before long, night snuck up on us. Uh, do you really need to throw the... I know it's nighttime. That's entirely unnecessary. I also do not need to hear him talk. Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such a deep sleep. But the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. Wah. Well, is it Waluigi? Oh. Wake up. Wake up! Eh. The voice dragged me from deep slumber into a hazy half-consciousness. My eyelids were like lead. Eh. Kyoko? Yes, it's me. Hi? Huh? Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? Um... In a flash, I was wide awake. What are you doing here? It's true. I'm here to wake you up. Oh, yeah. But the door? <sighs> it was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. Are you serious? Hey. Always. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. And you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. What time is it? Correct. Three o'clock in the morning, of course. That's surprisingly close to what time it is now here. It's 3 a.m.? Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? Well, I guess we should probably figure that out. I guess I'll keep going till the chapter ends. It's so late, what happened? Makoto. All right, well, ask away. So... Remember when Sakura said at the end of the, her note, I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. I wanna find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered. The data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverberated through my half-dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. Well, then I guess we're going to the data center then. Hopefully it lets me teleport, and it doesn't. I have to go the long way. Leave the area? Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, okay, it automatically does. Thank you for that, at least. Made my way into the after-hours school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Eventually, I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, 
Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. Is she maybe inside already? I put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force. It didn't open. I tried again, but... It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor. What's this? Oh god, why? This can't end well. What? Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... Hey. I can see that, you dolt. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can't see for myself. It looked like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you gonna try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. It's 3 o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko? <laughs> no, you too? You too? You guys? Whatever, the two of you, just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sir, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Can you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it, let's just go. Okay. <laughs> At least Makoto is as unbelievably confused as I am. And then... Goodbye. What did... What was the point of any of that? What was that all just about just now? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked, and then she shows up late and we had to leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sure. And then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Mukuro Ikusaba. Eh? <gasps> Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. The mastermind? Watch out for her. What? And here I thought getting beat upside the head by a luchador would be the most confusing way that a chapter would end. This game is absolutely bonkers, and I need to go to bed. I legitimately don't know what to say, so I'll just see you guys next time. Later.